Plus 6 versus iPhone 8 Plus Speed Test. Coming up right now, let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here, back again, helping you to master your technology. OnePlus 6 versus product red iPhone 8 Plus. Let's begin with the boot up test in three, two, one. And let's put this in the perspective here. We compared the OnePlus 6 to the iPhone 10 yesterday. We know that's about 50%, you know, more to buy an iPhone 10, but the 8 Plus is like 950 if you want the 256 gig and it's like 799 to start. Now the OnePlus 6, is 629 for 256 gigabytes and eight gigabytes of ram with you can get like three cases plus the most premium version of the one plus six for cheaper than the starting price of a 64 gigabyte iphone 8 plus product red so even this older designed iphone 8 plus yes it's got the more powerful processor the a11 arguably than the snapdragon 845 but at the same time this phone you can get this phone with way more storage way more ram and multiple cases to go along with this phone and they include one in the box as well for less than the starting price of an 8 plus but you see in the 8 plus one here on the boot up test all right so we're here at the lock screens and i want to see which one does actually respond faster to hitting the power button to see the time three two one and you can see that's the iphone three two one and you can see that's the iphone so it's not a big deal at all but the iphone's a little bit faster to respond to that now what about the fingerprint scanner we can test this here they're both biometrically secure and let's go ahead and hit the fingerprint here and i'll hit the fingerprint here three two one and you could see the one plus six much faster on the fingerprint as it was on the face id or the face unlock over the 10 same here deal with the eight plus having a fingerprint the one plus six actually gives you face unlock and a fingerprint but you can see much faster on its fingerprint scanner so getting into your phone whether you're using an iphone 10 or an iphone 8 plus is slower both ways than a one plus six quickly confirming the software you can see i do have the eight gigabyte of ram version 5.1.5 oxygen os and 128 gig storage model here now on the 8 plus is a 64 gigabyte running ios 11.3.1 latest official software 11.4 is likely going to release tomorrow tuesday or maybe even a week or so it's coming soon but this is the latest version as of the recording of this video all right guys so we have arrived at the application speed test portion you can see all the apps are closed on the left and on the right let's go into calendar you can see that's the iphone 8 plus let's go into clock that's the one plus six weather that's the one plus six calculator one plus six slightly on that animation now remember the iphone 8 plus has the old touch id button it feels much slower than the gesture based os from the iphone 10 so going home is always faster on the one plus six going into instagram you can see the one plus six is ready to go fast scrolling versus smooth scrolling let's go to the likes page and you can see again same deal fast scrolling versus smooth scrolling going into the actual pictures looks like the iphone 8 plus had that loaded and basically in instagram you're looking at a fast experience versus a smooth experience on the iphone let's go into twitter and you can see twitter is open first on the left easily coming home let's go into snapchat snapchat on the left let's go into whatsapp that's the one plus six again youtube one plus six lightning fast over the eight plus there subscriptions activity trends a plus loads that first and you could see pretty much a similar deal here when it comes to youtube just a smoother experience faster experience on the left let's go into netflix and you could see netflix content loaded whoa i think that was the eight plus let me know down below i didn't quite see that one let's go into tesla and you could see about the same there so experience again going to be very similar but you get a bigger screen here for the one plus six let's go into amazon and you can see amazon is open first they look like on the eight plus let's go into here that was the one plus six actually opening this picture up doesn't look like yeah we could do that there actually so you can just scroll through yeah again it looks a little smoother on the eight plus sometimes things just look a little choppier on the android side but still very fast super fast let's go into ebay and you can see eBay's first on the left, then the A+. Plus. So OnePlus 6 is really doing well here. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And here comes the iPhone with another win on the gaming round. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you can see iPhone A+, Plus ready to go. And it also loads higher graphic settings out of the box, as I mentioned in all my videos. It usually does that over the Android. Now, I do find the 8 Plus to be a little bit of a smoother, better gaming experience in my experience, but... 
At the same time, the OnePlus 6 is probably the best gaming experience on Android, and it doesn't get quite as warm in my experience as the iPhones do. They get quite warm when using them in games. Let's go into PUBG Mobile. And that's probably because they're using so much processing power to power these games. But you can see PUBG Mobile is ready to go first so far on the iPhone 8 Plus. So it looks like you're going to get into a match first on the 8 Plus. And, and, and if you're in this game and you're playing other users, having an 8 Plus or an iPhone 10 could be a huge advantage because of that A11. Because you're going to have less stuttering and things like that. So there we go. We're in PUBG Mobile there. And it's just taking forever to load here for the OnePlus 6. So the OnePlus 6 taking quite some time to load. Okay, taking some time. Yeah, we're gonna just let this thing, yeah, we're gonna come out of here once it's done. So we're in there. That took quite a bit longer than the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's go into Slither. And you could see Slither play against AI. You could see about the same on casual games, not too much of a big deal, Video Shop. You can see Video Shop on the left. Let's go into Geekbench. You can see that was the left again. Speed test. Looks like the left again. Let's go into Chrome Safari. And slightly, I think, to the OnePlus 6 on the animation. So the speed on the initial app openings, I think on most apps, it's slightly faster due to animation on the OnePlus 6. Put it at 0.5x, it's even faster in animation than the, one, uh, the iPhone 8 Plus. Comes to gaming, comes to fluid, smoother feel. I think that's slightly... To the iphone 8 plus in the real world the oneplus 6 feels like a faster phone when just opening your everyday applications let's get on the ram management all right so we're just going to run through these applications really quickly to see if we get any reloads that's all we're looking for here no reload so far on the oneplus 6 looks pretty good let's go into PUBG. that's good let's go into dead trigger 2 very fast jetpack joyride very fast amazon netflix youtube look at these animations just fly on the one plus six just no reloads whatsoever perfect oh we had a little load there but again the calendar is kind of the google calendar it's internet based sometimes it refreshes so that wasn't really a reload there you go for the uh one plus six let's go into the iphone a plus and see what we get here so safari you can see that's good let's go into speed test that's ready to go let's go into geekbench ready to go let's go into video shop that's ready to go let's go into slither ready to go Let's go into PUBG. Now nope, we got to notice, but that's still ready to go. Let's go into Dead Trigger. Ready to go. Jetpack. Ready to go. eBay. Ready to go. Let's go into Amazon. Let's go into Netflix. Let's go into YouTube. Had a little slight reload here on YouTube. Again, Google Apps sometimes refresh. Let's go into Snapchat. Let's go into Twitter. I was ready. Let's go into Instagram. So even with three gigs of RAM, you could see that the iPhone 8 Plus has incredible RAM management. So I'm basically going to call the RAM management round a draw here between both of them, at least on your everyday apps. All right, so I shot a similar 35 second 1080p clip on both phones just to see which one can render out this video a little bit faster in Video Shop. Three, two, one, and we're going to see which one is quicker. Look at the OnePlus 6 Go. Look at the iPhone Go. This is close super close but no it's the a11 with the win right there but that wasn't bad for the one plus six so pretty nice stuff now this might change a little bit if you have a longer video but the iphone 8 plus definitely the win there over the one plus six so again rendering videos usually still wins on the iphone series okay so the final geekbench scores are in you could see again the iphone with the win pretty typical scores pretty typical scores here for the OnePlus 6. These benchmarks don't really mean nothing in the real world, but to some people, they like to have the fastest synthetic benchmark on their phone, and if that's the case for you, the iPhone is still the way to go. And lastly, I wanna test the camera, just to see which one can actually open the camera first when you tap it to actually fire off a photo. Three, two, one. And you could see that's the iPhone 8 Plus that gets in there first. Let's close them out and do it again. Three, two, one, and yes, that's pretty close so it's not too much of a difference in the camera department either um, in terms of the quality we'll have to do that test soon but that's it that's the one plus six versus the iphone 8 plus speed test i think that the one plus six in most applications and most animations feels like a faster phone you're going to feel that on the day to day the iphone 8 plus in some areas is smoother than the one plus six and some applications are better optimized it's really down to the os these days but consider the price again one more time for this older designed iPhone, you're gonna pay $200 more for 64 gigs and you get four times the storage 
you can get the uh, 256 gig here on the OnePlus 6 for way less than even the starting price point on iPhone 8 Plus. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We got way more OnePlus 6 content coming to your inbox. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode and peace.